the spring's been going well. Um, now getting back on the field, it's it's came fast. Uh, it's crazy. We just finished winning the national championship. Now we're back at it, and uh, you know the whole team is, you know. Got gotten that sunk in that we won the national championship, but you know we're we're on the way to another one, and we're back at it. We went through fourth quarter drills, and now it's starting practice. You know everything's getting on a roll, and you know, we have 12 more, and uh, we should be good for the spring game. What's the difference from last spring to this spring for you? Um, last spring was uh, was for me was uh, more you know showing the coaches what I what I could do because you know Dustin was gone, and I was looking to be the starting kicker, and now you know the pressure's a little bit off. But you know, with the same mentality and the same mindset to to do with the same the same what I did last year, you know, hopefully you know work hard, you know, win the grows the next year and, and and do what what's needed for the team. How much pressure is there, not only for you but for the team? Because it seems like the mentality is the same coming off the championship. Mm -hmm. But for you, the only way you can get better is to make one more field goal. I mean, <laughs> does that kind of dawn on you a little yeah, bit more? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of people tell me, oh, just be perfect next year and you'll win the grows again. But it's it's a hard task and. And in reality, like the year that I had last year, that's that's hard to you know repeat and stuff. But you know I'm up to the challenge, and uh, you know last year's expectation is is you know it's what to, it's it's what we what we're expected to do today, you know. And um, I'm I'm up for the challenge, and uh, you know if it's if it's needed, you know I'm I'm trying to be the best. So is the mentality still the same, even though coming off a national championship of we're maybe more hungry because we want another one this mm -hmm. coming year. Uh, for me and, and what I see in the team is, you know, we won it. We won it already, and uh, that's in the past. You know, we're like Jimbo said, you know, we're not defending a championship. We're, we're hunting for another one. So that's the mindset that, that Coach Jimbo's put in, in, our, in our heads, and, uh, you know, we're, we're back at it, and everyone's competing to be the best at, at their position, and so, so am I. So Different long snapper. Oh. Yeah, well, what's that? I mean, Phil uh, has some sort of personality, so yeah. maybe he puts you at ease a little bit when you're over there. <laughs> what's it like having a new long snapper? You're right, you're right. And, uh, you know, just got to adapt. You know, Phil was a great long snapper, and uh, we, we certainly miss him out there and his personality. But, uh, you know, this is how this is how teams go. You know, you lose a, you lose a, you know, someone that's defined on your, on your team. And, uh, you know, we got Danny and, uh, and a couple other snappers out there. And it's just getting the timing down, really. You know, it's, it's they can snap the ball. They they have potential, and uh, you know, just working the timing down and getting all that down. And uh, we should be ready for the spring game. Honestly, last year when you were preparing for this season, even going into the spring last year, did you imagine that you would have the kind of season that you did? Uh, not really. I was just taking it day by day. To tell you the truth, I wasn't. I was just taking it day by day, doing what I had to do, and on every kick. And you know, I knew it, after a while it would sum up. You know, to be a good season, I didn't realize. You know, the first game pit. I was just trying to do my job. If you do your job, you know, over time, you know, it'll, it'll, you'll see your success. And that's how I take. That's how I took it. And this year, you know, I just take it day by day. Don't, you know, look into the future too much. Just take it day by day because that's how you got to do it. And that's how I did it last year. So I just got to do that again. How much did that spring last year then help you prepare you for that first season? Of your uh, just getting me in, into the mentality that I was that I was a starting guy, that I was number one. I wasn't backup anymore behind us, and and uh, you know I had to take assume that position, and you know the team was going to need me, and uh, you know just getting in there, just more me mentally, you know, because I was I was there in the fall and I was backup and everything. I kicked in front of the coaches and everything, but just being uh, the, the number one guy and just getting that mindset that the team needed me and. Uh, you know, the team needs me again. You know, they now everybody knows what what's expected of me, so it's it's a it's a lot more challenging for me. But uh, but I know what to do, and I'm just gonna raise the raise the bar higher. So it feels different than last year going into the spring. Uh, yeah, much more expectations for me. You know, um, last year, let's say in the spring game, you know, I missed a couple field goals. They would have been like, oh, you know, he's a freshman. You know, we'll give him some slack. Now with the season that I had, you know, every missed field was gonna be like, "Whoa, man, you won the girls the last year," you know. Have you noticed that already? Uh, getting on you a little bit. Uh, I mean, at night and not not real, not really yet. I mean, I know, you know, once going into the spring game and uh, once going into the season, I know it's gonna be a lot more expectations, and uh, I know I carry that on my shoulder, and I, you know, I carry the girls a flag, and uh, you know, it's what ex it's what's expected of me. So you know, I'm up, I'm up for the challenge, and uh, I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it.